My name is Robert Wagner. As you can see, I play the part of the butler. It's uh, not much of a part, but Natalie thought I could use the experience in cleaning and dusting. <laughs> this is the home of the celebrated movie star, Lawrence Olive. I'd better hurry and tidy up. He'll soon be rising. It would appear that the master was entertaining last night. <laughs> or vice versa. <laughs> Lana. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> Ava must be back. <laughs> that Zsa, Zsa She's such a forget-me-not. <laughs> I don't believe I know her. trash today, I don't think she'll keep. <laughs> sir! Sir! I'm ready to descend. Oh, just a moment, sir. Good morning, Dudley. Good morning, sir. Have you read Hedda Hopper's column this morning? Yes, sir. Did she mention my name? No, sir. Luella? Not a word, sir. I'm going back upstairs. Wake me at this same time tomorrow. <laughs> sir! 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 Oh, I'll never speak to another reporter again. Bar the doors. I can't stand this day. It's so beastly. Robert Hall delivered my leopard skin capri pants. They have to go back. <laughs> But why, sir? The spots clash with my birthmark. <laughs> chin up, sir. Chin up. You must remember your responsibility to the public, sir. You must carry yourself as the Oscar winner that you are, sir. Oh, confound it, Dud. Do you have to keep mentioning my Oscar? That's all in the past. I've forgotten it, and I wish you would, too. That is all, Dud. Yes, sir. Go, Dud. <laughs> Dud, Dud. <laughs> Maybe this year the stork will bring you a baby brother. <laughs> and I can have my ears pierced. <laughs> Just a minute. Come in. Mr. Rawley? thing I don't smoke a pipe. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful, it's you. I have so much to offer, I may subdivide. <laughs> Young woman, get your sticky little mouth off my portrait. Oh, it's you. Ew. I can't believe it. I'm standing in the same room with Lawrence Olive, the most popular actor in the whole United States. Don't forget Canada and Mexico. I'm very big around the border. May I quote you? I'm 
a reporter from Swinging Screen Man. Swinging Screen? I never heard of it. Get out. Oh, listen, it's a real magazine. Here's the latest issue. Really? Sure. The day Tony Curtis and Sal Minio lock spit curls. <laughs> Candid shots of Jackie Gleason in his shower or the largest wetback in the world. <laughs> I'm through with cheesecake by Lassie. <laughs> this is nothing but trash. Dudley, Dudley! Sir. Throw this gutter snack to the dogs. Out! How did you get in here? Don't you realize that this is quite a property issue? If I find you breaking in here again, I'll be forced to call the police. You read that line cute, honey. <laughs> Thanks, honey. I was watching you on the monitor and you look but the greatest. In case you tuned in late, welcome to Bride and Groom. <laughs> now get out and stay out! I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, Dad. These women, I don't know what I'm going to do. I may have to order 12 more alligators for the moat. <laughs> Thank heaven she's... I couldn't stand it a minute longer. You'll never leave me, will you? I tried to keep my promise, but I can't. I talked to the preacher, but he won't marry us. What are you doing? Hey, come on! <laughs> you want to buy a nice little fresh fruit? I'm a gonna a nice of peach, a nice of plum. Hey, you want a nice of banana? Oh, I see. You already got it, a banana. <laughs> hey, Gumba, I'm a reporter from the Pachigalupa time. How about a little interview, huh? Hey, you think a girl should wear the lipstick? You, you... <laughs> you think a girl should wear a mustache? Dad, let it! Dad, let it! Wait, wait, wait! Before I go, can I have a lock of your hair? Don't be absurd. That's how Yul Brynner got that way. Take her out of here. <laughs> I warned you what would happen if you broke in here again. What would you like for dinner tonight, honey? <laughs> how about lamb chops? Oh, yeah, with little green panties. And little new potatoes. And little green peas. Mm. And a little package of Tums. <laughs> I wish they'd hurry before I blow my pressure cooker. <laughs> now, get out and stay out. Sorry, sir. I don't know how we're going to keep them out. Well, how about the electric fence? Oh, it's no match for those fan clubs, sir. Yeah, you're right. The first wave throw themselves against it, and the rest walk over their bodies. <laughs> we have no choice. We'll have to issue live ammunition to the gate. I tried giving a flamethrower to the gardener, but he kept singeing my daffodils. <laughs> Excuse me, <sir>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm from Fickerbinder's TV service. I come to repair the TV set. You know what I mean? It's right over there. Sonora. Hey, Deadly. Sir? I'm a little nervous about that repairman. Why, sir? He just dropped his lipstick. <laughs> oh, Mr. Finkenbinder. Yeah? Are you sure you can fix that set? Listen, I found the trouble already. You got a dirty spark plug. <laughs> well, I'll give you five seconds to get a picture on that set. Dudley, my chair, please. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Finkenbinder. Five, four, three, two, one. You've got a lot to lie. With a marble <laughs> flavor flip top box. It's live from Hollywood. <laughs> Well, Channel 4 is working fine. I wonder if the others are all right. I'll just turn the dial here and see. What do you have? Pat Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pat Blue Ribbon. What do you have? Pat Blue Ribbon. Pat Blue Ribbon. Beer. 
Well, I'm glad the set is fixed for tonight, Dudley. The fights are just starting right now, Mr. Finkelbinder. I'll switch them on. First time a television set ever left a room during the commercial. <laughs> Can I have the evening off, sir? Yes, Dudley, you mean you're going out with... As soon as she finishes shaving. <laughs> I understand, Dud. Uh, take your bow and go. Thank you, sir. I understand, all right. Loneliness is the price of fame. They don't know it, but I'm never completely alone. <laughs> oh, I've always got you in my hour of need. You're always there. What are you doing with my Oscar? I'm babysitting. I'm limbering up for next summer. 